Hey, this is Justin, you're watching wingsound.com. Let's say you have your whole track recorded out and you just wanna change a little piece of it, a bar or two bars or something like that. I'm gonna show you how to use Quick Punch Record from both a player's perspective and from an engineer's perspective to just record that little piece and get your audio ready to go. Okay, so I have this bass track here. Okay, so let's just say I want to quickly punch in and out and just re-record uh, re a section. So let's just say this is the section. One way to do this is to click and then highlight your area that you want to re-record in. Enable your pre and post roll, which is up here. Now you can go over here in the transport window, click and drag and move your little pre, pre and post roll flags around. Or you can just click on it and drag it for wherever you want. So enable your tracks for recording. And then you want to go to track and input only monitoring. So you hear what you've previously recorded. Okay, so all you gotta do is hit play and it's just gonna record in that highlighted section. Okay, so there you go, and it just I punched in and out and just recorded that little area and it created a new audio file. You know, there's little clicks and stuff in there, but you can just go in and edit those out or you know put in some crossfades and stuff and make it real clean. So another way to do this, to do the quick punch, is let's say if you were an engineer working with someone. So again, you know, enable your pre, enable your pre and post roll, and you know, see what your uh, musician's preference is for where they want to hear it from. So what you can do is you go to options, quick punch, or you can do shift command P. And what happens is on the little record icon over here in your transport window, a little P shows up. You can also hit control and click until the P shows up. All right. Now, so what I'm going to do, I can't really record anything because it's kind of hard for me to click, punch in, record, jump back to the base, and then punch out real fast. So let's just say, you know, I'm just going to make some noise. It's not necessarily going to go with it, but, you know, I'm going to show you the idea if you were the engineer and you can manually punch in and out on the fly. So, you know, let's just say where the marker is is where I want to start recording just to kind of give me a little guide and, you know, where the pre-roll flag is is where it's going to start playing so the musician has time to get ready to record. So enable your tracks for record, hit play, and... So obviously that doesn't go anything with what's going on, but just to give you the idea that I manually clicked in, clicked in record and clicked out, you know, if you're the, like I said, if you're the engineer, you can do it real easily. And then, you know, same thing creates your new audio file and, and there you go. You can always get in touch with Justin at wingsound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at wingsound.com.